Tucked inside Third Ward is a street called Parkwood Drive. And it's just this nice little hidden secret. And even though we're just one block from McGregor, we don't hear any traffic. Rosalind Bazell Mitchell is a Houston native and says that she's heard about this area since she was a little girl. Where a lot of the homes in River Oaks were built and um, created by architects that made the homes in this neighborhood. And so you see a lot of the same designs. And so it's really awesome to see the history and the beauty of the home. But I love the story behind a lot of the homes in the neighborhood, especially since it transitioned from more of a Jewish neighborhood to more, now it's an African-American neighborhood. It's not really noisy, it's just perfect for a Except family. for the busloads of people that come. Yeah, <laughs> they, yeah, they show up. <laughs> That's because the house she lives in is number 3346, the one once occupied by the Knowles family. It's Beyonce's childhood home. At first we didn't realize or we weren't, really weren't aware that people would just show up at all hours of the night, but yeah, okay. As, as long as they're not trying to come in and even though they ring the doorbell and they'll ask me if it's a museum, I'm like, no, it's not. It's not. People live here. The house was built in 1935. Many renovations have been made since then, but some features like the wood floors and iconic fireplace featured in one of Beyonce's music videos still stands original. So Solange's room was on one side, Beyonce's room was on the other side. And now it's opened up and it's the master. Although these changes have been made, the foundation remains the same for Beyonce. She represents Third Ward whenever she can. Rosalind actually met her a couple of weeks ago at a charity function in Los Angeles. I said, hi Beyonce, I'm Rosalind and I live in your childhood home on Parkwood. And that was... And what did she say? She just turned around, you know, and she said, um, you know, oh my goodness, I've always wanted to ring the doorbell. My sister told me that she came by and that there was a nice black family that lived in the house and so we are really happy about that. The Mitchells are kind enough to have a Beyonce cutout that they bought for fans to take pictures with. But fans do have to remember it's not a museum, it's the Mitchells home. Hopefully we're here for the long run. Rashi Vats, Fox 26 News.